Hello students, let's let's do some factoring. So this polynomial, as you can see, is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And notice that uh, the number 6 is a, number 11 b, and number uh, 3 c. So what we're going to do to factor, uh, we're going to use the diamond and box method. Uh, so I'm going to make the diamond first. And here on the top, we're going to write the product of A and C. So 6 times 3 is 18. And on the bottom, we're going to write the sum. So we're going to write 11. And now what, what we need to do is we need to find two numbers that would multiply to, uh, to 18 and add to 11. So basically we have to have two numbers whose product is going to be 18 and the sum is going to be 11. So what can we do? Let's see if I do, let's say if I multiply one times 18, I will, I will get 18. However, one plus 18 does not equal 11. So we're going to try different number so let's say 2 times 9 equals 18 um i'm sorry equals 18 so 2 times 9 equals 18 and 2 plus 9 does equal 11 so we can see that those two numbers would work so i'm going to write here maybe in different color uh 2 and 9 okay so now we have those two values that's great However, uh, we are not done because our um, coefficient, leading coefficient is 6, it's not 1. So in this case, to factor further, we do need to have a box. That will help us to factor. And uh, the box is basically a tool that we can use to factor. So now I'm going to change colors and write in different colors so you know which number goes where in the box. So this first term, 6x squared, is going to be here, 6x squared, in the first uh, box over here. And then the number 3, well, we can use the same color. Number 3 is going to go over here diagonally. We're going to write those numbers this way, okay? Then you want to take the numbers 2 and 9, and we're going to write them either, it doesn't matter whether you write 2x over here and 9x over here, or you could also switch, you could write 2x over here and 9x over here. So uh, we have those two values. Yes, we do add x to, to the box. Uh, it's a little bit different method than the method when the coefficient is just one, okay? And now we are going to factor. So let's see. Now I can write, uh, so I can factor out, let's say you have a 6 and 2. So what we can do, we can actually factor here maybe 2x. And 2x times what, what term would give me 6x squared. So if I factor 2x, I would get here 3x right? So because 2x times 3x equals 6x squared. Now, 3x times what value, what number would give us 9x? In other words, 9x divided by 3x, what would that equal? So 3x times 3 equals 9x, okay? And now 2x times what value is going to equal 2x? It's going to be 2x plus 1, 2x times 1 is going to be 2x. And then we have 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, so the reason why I put plus 1 here is because this is going to be my factor, but I don't want to confuse you with um, multiplication. So here we have 3x plus 1 as the factored version here, and 2x plus 3. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know and I would encourage you to try 1B. Uh, bring it to class if you struggle with that and ask me questions in class, okay? I hope that was helpful. Have a good day.